Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to download and view your digital textbook on your tablet or handheld devices. If you want to know how to purchase and download your textbook on a regular laptop or computer, we also have a separate video for that, so feel free to check that out on our support page. The method I'm going to show you isn't the only way to transfer your textbook, but it is a very easy and fast method. We'll be using Dropbox, so if you don't already have an account, you can just register for free. You should also be able to find a Dropbox app in the Apple Store as well as the Google Play Store, so you can go ahead and download that onto your tablet as well. Right now I'm on my laptop and I've just finished purchasing a digital copy of Worldwide AP Calculus, so I have that saved on my desktop. I'm just going to open up Dropbox.com, which I have right here, and I'm going to sign in with my username. So on the home page of my Dropbox, you can see I have a folder here that I've made with books. If I go into that, I have all different kinds of textbooks in here that I've uploaded in here previously. So to upload a new one, I'm just going to click on this button, which is the upload button, and I'm going to choose a file from my desktop. When that's done uploading, you just click Done, and you'll be able to see it in your folder and it's highlighted to show you which one you just uploaded. You can also rename your files so that it's easier for you to find them later. So what I'm going to do is just right click right here and then rename this and make sure that it's obvious that it's the AP Calculus book. So now that that's all set, I'm just going to go grab my tablet and show you what to do there. So now I'm on my tablet. I'm using a Nexus 7 tablet, but of course you can do this on any other device you have, as long as you have a Dropbox app installed, as well as an app that can read PDFs, such as Adobe Reader. You can see that I already have both of these apps down here in my toolbar, so that it's really easy for me to just click on them and access my books. The first thing I'm going to click on is the Dropbox app. And here when it opens up, I'm already logged in, so this is my home page. You can see the books folder that is here that was on my computer. And when you open it, you see all the same books that was on my computer as well. Here you can see the AP Calculus book I just added, so I'm going to click on that. And this little window is going to pop up asking you which app you want to use to open it. I'm going to use Adobe Reader, and it is one of our recommended apps, because when you open it with Adobe Reader, you'll be able to click on all the embedded links in your digital textbook. You can set it so that it always opens with this app, but I'm just going to do it this one time. And now you can see you can just flip through the book like a normal book. On the home page of the first chapter here, you can see there's a little box with a blue outline. That means that there's an embedded video lecture, so you can click on that. And it'll ask you if you want to go to YouTube, so I'm just going to open that to show you. And when that loads, you can watch the video lecture that corresponds to that section. Another great thing is that in Adobe Reader, if you go to the home page, there's a documents folder, which is your whole library of books. And this saves all of your books here so that you don't need an internet connection to read any of them. So if I just click on them and I don't have Wi-Fi, you can read through the book and you can't click on the YouTube lectures, but you can just read your textbook um, without any connection.